Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So here we'll be looking to do a complete breakthrough of the Core Maths C2 paper, and this is from the May or June 2018 series. Now, I've already gone ahead and completed this whole paper, and I just want to say that overall, this paper was actually not too bad. I would I'd actually rank it as one of the easiest papers from the last five years, in my personal opinion. I mean, everyone's got their own opinion, but in my opinion, I believe that overall the questions are not too bad, most of them are asked in a very straightforward manner and there's pretty much no difficult um, question here. There's only nine, so there's no actual hard differentiation problem. And overall, most of the questions are just generic and straightforward. But anyway, without further ado, let's just go down straight to the questions and start with number one. So it says here that figure one shows a sketch of part of a curve of this equation here. Okay, so the equation is given and it represents this curve over here. So the finite region R shown shaded in figure one is bounded by the curve, the x-axis and the line of equation x equals 10. So in other words, x equals 10, x-axis and the curve. So yeah, that seems okay. Now, so the table shows the corresponding values for x and y for the equation given. Complete a table given values of y corresponding to x equals two and six. All right, this one is of course dead easy. It's only worth a mark. So you just essentially plug it in x equals two to this equation and finding a value for y and x equals six. Now it doesn't actually stay to give you answers in exact form or otherwise. So I'd assume you can do both, but because they actually did exact form for one of them, I think it's probably a good idea to actually find the exact form for them if possible. So what I did, well, I just tested on the calculator. When x is two, thankfully you get a whole number. So the answer here would actually just be two. But for when x is 6, you end up getting a sort of um, a recurring, a non-recurring decimal. And what this means is that it's probably best to evaluate it separately. So what I did, I just worked out, of course, 6 plus 2 is 8. And then in the calculator, I just took out this um, the square root value and just pretty much wrote root 8. And I decided, let me convert root 8 in my calculator. So I plug this in the calculator root 8 and you should get 2 root 2. And then cube each term. So the cube root of 2 is 8, and the cube root of root 2, well, I just wrote it as 3 consecutive root 2s. And one thing to note is that when you have two of the same um, roots, these two become a whole number. So these two become a 2. So essentially, you've got 8 times 2 over 4, which is 4, and then root 2 left, so 4 root 2. But yeah, if you guys already know how to do this, that's great. And again, this is one mark, so I don't know if this is necessary, but phew, no big deal. Anyway, part B. Use the trapezium rule with all the values of y from the complete table to find the approximate value for the area of r. So same procedure, same story. And you're given the trapezium rule in the formula booklet, so that's good. But anyway, what I did here, I just I always do it my own way. I always let, for example, the region be approximately equal to h over 2, where h is the width, by the way. But And to calculate the width very easily, just find the difference between each x value. In other words, a common difference. So you can see it's going up in blocks of 4s. Because minus 2 and 2 has, has a width of 4, this has a width of 4, and 6 and 10 has a width of 4. So h is more or less 4. Now, the formula is always the first y value plus set the last y value plus 2 times everything in between. So the first and last y values, according to um, the table, would be 0 and 6 root 3. And then these two values in the middle are inside the, the middle parts. So this would be the 2 times the middle values. And that's it, just plug everything in, smash into your calculator, and voila, 51.412. So yeah, not much to say here, guys. This is um, a very straightforward trapezium question. There is no additional problem, and that's what there is. So if you guys have enjoyed it, if you guys have been enjoying this video so far, give me a like, subscribe, share with your friends. Otherwise, let's move on.